Hi, my name is Daniel. I'm a professional photographer and dive master, and I'm going to be showing you a little bit about how to edit your underwater photos uh, using Google's Picasa, which is a free program for managing and editing your photos. So let's get started here. Uh, you can see here in the, my My Pictures folder, I have a couple underwater photos that I took on my last diving trip. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on one of them, which brings up the editing screen and also allows me to uh, view the photo at a larger size. Now there's a number of things wrong with this picture. Um, the main thing is that it's too dark and that often happens when you're uh, taking photos underwater. So there's a slider here with called fill light. I'm going to go ahead and bring that over and it, you can see that that brings out a lot more light. We can see more detail. I'm going to also choose the auto contrast filter here. Sometimes this can help. In this case it helped a little bit but not too much. So let's go ahead and go over to the next tab over, which is called Tuning. And you'll notice here we have the fill light again, which we could uh, adjust some more. And um, we also have the highlights here, which is going to be helpful. So let's go ahead and slide that over. You can see that the highlights, the brighter part of the picture, is getting brighter. Uh, the other thing that you'll often want to adjust is the color temperature, because when you take photos underwater, the, the light doesn't usually get picked up correctly by your camera. So let's go ahead and slide this color temperature over to the side here. And as you can see, we're getting more yellows and oranges back into the photo, uh, which were in there before, but the camera did not pick up. And uh, I should also point out, there's, all, there's an undo button here, which you can do for any of these adjustments. So that's often helpful. Now let's go ahead and go over to the third tab here, which is called the Effects tab. And there's a couple here that we're going to want to use. Um, in, similar to the saturation one that we did before, uh, we're going to click on the saturation here and adjust the amount. Now usually you don't want too much, but just a little bit about here is good. And let's go ahead and click Apply. And one last thing here we'll want to try is the Warmify filter that also should bring out the colors a little bit better. You can see that picture looks a lot better than when we started out. And um, I think that's it. So let's go ahead and just click back to library. Now the great thing about Picasa is that it remembers your settings and you can go back and adjust them at any time. And uh, when you're ready to share the photo with the world, you can click upload, email, or export, and you'll be ready to go.